Moving on, and I wanted to talk about the whole NVIDIA cable gate situation where now more RTX 5090 owners have been reporting discoveries of melted cables, adapters, they're finding melted plugs on the PSU side. It's a pretty wild, but also a pretty serious situation. Now, when I had scheduled my video to be posted, or my video previous video, Darbauer had put out a video, which is why I didn't talk about it in my last video, but he managed to get a hold of the GPU from the user whose post I was talking about in that last video. And he apparently lives pretty close to him. So DeBauer did some interesting testing and found out that, you know, despite being fully seated, the cable was running very hot and across the wires or different pins, the temperatures were very inconsistent. And because some of them were carrying a lot more current, which is not normal. I definitely recommend watching the whole thing and, you know, get yourself more informed on the details. We did also recently have a report from another user, but this time it was an RTX 5080. And that's interesting because the... RTX 5080's rated power draw is nowhere close to the 5090. They stated how just during normal use they saw a red light on the uh, power connector and that's normal with the ASUS models and you know that indicates that a pin wasn't seated properly but they also double checked and saw that it was seated properly and they you know they did some troubleshooting